This video is being brought to you free of charge by the advertisers in the show. They welcome you to your new city. Hi there. On behalf of the Newcomer Video, welcome to your new home and your new city. We hope you've had a chance to start exploring your new area, and if you have, great. But even if you haven't, don't worry. That's why we're here to help. New places, new faces, there's plenty of things to do. We'll be introducing you to fine arts and cultural centers and community parks. You'll meet the local sports teams. And to help make your transition a little easier, we'll give you an overview of the local highway systems and point out a few legal things you'll want to take care of. You'll even meet some local sponsors who understand your needs and concerns when it comes to relocating. And to finish up, we'll take a look at some great restaurants. Because if you're anything like me, you're probably in no great rush to start cooking, right? It's all coming up, so stick around. Tampa St. Petersburg is one of the top metropolitan areas in the country, and with good reason. From its colorful and exciting history to its current position as a center of culture and commerce, Tampa St. Petersburg is a wonderful place. It's no surprise you've decided to make this metropolitan area your new home. So for a close-up look, Let's join your newcomer video correspondent who's ready to tell you all about Tampa, St. Petersburg, starting with sports. Sports is brought to you by WFLA-TV, News Channel 8. Now more than ever, News Channel 8 is on your side. Hi, I'm Gail Searins, news anchor for Tampa Bay's NBC station, WFLA-TV News Channel 8. I grew up here, and I wouldn't think of living anywhere else. I just love the people and the places, and there's always something to see and do. During this video, I'll take you all around my hometown and share some of my favorite spots. Since 1976, this has been home to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, whose fluctuating fortunes are the talk of the town. The 74,000-seat facility also hosts the Hall of Fame Bowl, one of college football's most prestigious postseason games, and on more than one occasion has captured the world's attention as the site of the NFL Super Bowl. If you're a football fan, we've got you covered, outside and in. Tampa Bay Storm convincingly demonstrates that arena football can be wall-to-wall -wall excitement. Of course, there's more to Tampa Bay than football. This is where the boys of summer spend their spring. The area is a mecca for spring training enthusiasts. In Clearwater, the Philadelphia Phillies play at Jack Russell Stadium, while the St. Louis Cardinals take the field at Al Lang Stadium in St. Petersburg. The Toronto Blue Jays call Grant Field in Dunedin home. The New York Yankees take the plate at their spring training camp in Tampa across from Tampa Stadium. The minor league has a presence in Tampa Bay also, with the Tampa Yankees playing at Red McEwen Field at the University of South Florida. Within an hour's drive of downtown Tampa, you can catch the action at a half dozen home fields. The most popular figures on the PGA Senior Tour give it their best shot each February at the GTE Suncoast Classic, one of three senior PGA tournaments held in Florida. This charitable event contributes millions of dollars annually to the local economy. If you think of the Sunshine State as a place to chill out, but try telling that to the many devoted fans of the Tampa Bay Lightning, the area's NHL ice hockey team. If inline skating is more your style, Tampa is also the home of the Tampa Bay Tritons. The University of South Florida's basketball team is also a Bay Area favorite. The Bulls season runs from November to March at the USF Sundome. From bulls to horses, each spring equestrian connoisseurs gather at the American Invitational. As for polo lovers, there are regularly scheduled matches open to the public from January through May. Greyhound racing is always a safe bet for having fun and can be seen at Tampa Dog Track from September to January and at Derby Lane in St. Pete from January to May. High Lie at the Tampa Fronton guarantees edge of your seat excitement. And from December through April, you can cheer until your horse at the Tampa Bay Downs racetrack in Oldsmar. The Bay Area is brimming with spectator sports year-round, but if you'd rather participate, well, you couldn't have chosen a better place. 
Golfers can tee it up at more than 60 public, private, and semi-private courses scattered throughout the area. This is a tennis player's dream come true, with hundreds of public courts and a host of top-notch private facilities. Major professional tournaments held each year attract some of the biggest names in the game. Tampa is also the scene of one of the premier 15-kilometer foot races in the world, the Gasparilla Distance Classic. The race is held each year in February, starting in downtown Tampa and continuing along scenic Bayshore Boulevard. But if a leisurely jog or spin is more your style, you won't have to look far for a near-perfect path in a picture postcard setting. And you don't have to worry about keeping the kids occupied. There's an organized league or a club for almost every children's sport imaginable. To get more information about teams and sporting events in the area, here are some of the phone numbers you'll need. What Tampa sidewalk has set a world's record? What kind of world will they inherit? Will it be one of uncertainty or one of promise? At News Channel 8 and NBC News, we're digging deeper to give you no-nonsense news and the answers you depend upon. That's why more and more people in Tampa Bay are turning to News Channel 8. And that's why you should too. NBC News and News Channel 8, now more than ever. Win a News Channel 8 Storm Team umbrella. Look for the coupon accompanying this tape for details. Stretching six and a half miles, Bayshore Boulevard is the world's longest continuous sidewalk. Services is brought to you by Scotty's, your convenient home center with more than 150 locations all over Florida. Contrary to popular belief, the median age in Pinellas County is 44. In Hillsborough County, that drops to 33. With so many young couples and families moving into the area, educating young minds has become a top priority. That's not just the case for primary and secondary schools, but institutions of higher learning as well. For starters, there are two-year schools like Hillsborough Community College and St. Petersburg Junior College, each with branch campuses. Stetson University College of Law in St. Pete was the state's first law school and also acts as a center of continuing legal education in the community. The private University of Tampa is dominated by Plant Hall, at one time a luxury hotel, this remnant of the Arabian Nights fantasy now doubles as a museum and the school's administration headquarters. The University of South Florida has taken an active role in both the intellectual and civic life of the community. Part of the Florida State University system, the school has become especially noted for the quality of its medical research and education. Throughout the area, in fact, health care is growing to keep pace with an expanding population. Hospitals are renovating their facilities and acquiring the most sophisticated and up-to-date technology available. If none of this sounds like what you would expect from a sleepy little retirement community, you're definitely on the right track. With all of its physical charms and laid-back atmosphere, the Tampa Bay area is also a bustling center of commerce. Whether it's overland via freight train, by sea from the Port of Tampa, the largest full-service port in Florida and the nation's seventh most active, or by air at Tampa International Airport, a pioneering facility that's been ranked first in the nation and second in the world by international passengers. The Tri-County area is also served by Amtrak and by the Greyhound bus line. In addition, the cities of St. Pete, Clearwater, and Tampa have major city-owned public transportation. Here are some of the phone numbers of some leading Bay Area service providers.
just one form of transportation you could probably get used to. There are all kinds of cultural events this vibrant community has to offer. So if you thought you were limited to bingo and shuffleboard, well, you're really missing the boat. Over 150 convenient locations all over Florida. Use the enclosed certificate for 10% off your first purchase at Scotty's with over 150 locations throughout Florida. One of the most obvious benefits of living here is its culture. Dance, music, theater. Be sure to take advantage of opportunities like these. History and culture is brought to you by Bell's Department Stores. Quality fashions, reasonably priced. Depend on bells to save you time and money every day. People from all over the world have come to call the Tampa Bay area home, but its past, it has a distinctly Latin flavor. Tampa was little more than a military outpost and a sprinkling of farms when Cuban cigar makers began arriving from Key West in 1886, giving the town an infusion of energy, industry, and capital. Tampa's fame as the world's cigar capital peaked in the 1920s when the Cuesta Rey Cigar Factory was appointed official purveyor to the Royal Court of Spain. Those days are gone now, although you can still feel the Spanish influence when you walk down the streets of Vibor City. At the northern tip of Pinellas County, another ethnic enclave has been lovingly preserved. Tarpon Springs reflects the customs and traditions of the Greek sponge divers who settled here in the early 1900s. You would expect an area the size of Tampa Bay to have a thriving visual arts scene. And with more than 80 galleries and museums to choose from, you wouldn't be mistaken. Some, like the Tampa Museum of Art and the Museum of Fine Arts in St. Petersburg, offer outstanding exhibits from both ancient and contemporary artists. But I've always liked the rather offbeat places, like the museum devoted exclusively to the works of the master surrealist Salvador Dali or Great Explorations, the hands-on museum custom tailored for kids of all ages, or the Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa, where you can get a front row seat at a hurricane. And speaking of seats, there's not a bad one in the house at first class arenas like the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center, Ruth Eckerd Hall, and the Bayfront Center. Whether it's the best of Broadway, the resident Florida Orchestra, or any of your favorite performers. After visiting the museums and centers for the arts, learn of life under the water and of foliage unique to the state at the Florida Aquarium. What a great sound. Of course, culture is not confined to an occasional play or concert. One of the key ingredients in enjoying the good life is knowing how to throw a party. And when it comes to festive living, Tampa Bay knows how to have a good time. In February comes the granddaddy of them all, the raucous, colorful Gasparilla Pirate Invasion and Parade. And there's plenty more, just to name a few, the Florida State Fair, the Florida Strawberry Festival, the Festival of States, and the Clearwater Jazz Holiday. And last, but certainly not least, Tampa's own Halloween celebration, Guavaween, an inspired exercise in public silliness. Get more details on all of these activities, just call the following numbers. What does the name Tampa mean? I remember our first holiday here. I needed to give our home a festive look, Florida style, new clothes for everyone, and gifts, plus all that wrapping and mailing. I needed a miracle, but as it turned out, all I really needed was bells.
use the enclosed certificate for extra savings on brand name fashions, gifts, and decorative items for your new home. Free gift wrapping and in-store postal facilities make Bells your one-stop holiday shop. Depend on Bells this holiday season to save you time and money every day. No one's really sure. Native Americans called the area Tampa. The Spanish changed the spelling, and over the years, the meaning of the original word has been lost. Just getting settled into your new home can be trying enough without running afoul of local rules and regulations. Relax. We're not going to go into exhaustive detail, but we will tell you some of the basic things you need to know and where to go to get further information. Automobile registration and licensing in Florida isn't too difficult if you observe some of the following rules. First, the state requires that all drivers have no-fault insurance. You must show proof of this insurance in order to get your tags. Speaking of tags, after moving here, you've got 30 days to get a Florida license plate. To get the plate, take your vehicle registration, proof of insurance, and title to the closest tag office. You'll also need to pass an exhaust emissions test each year within three months of the tag renewal time. You have to bring exactly $10 in cash with you. Should it fail, you'll have ample time to have your car repaired and retested. If you're from out of state, you have to have a valid Florida driver's license within 30 days of becoming a resident. The license is good for six years and is renewable by your birthday. If you've got a valid license from another state, you only need to take an eye test. Some driver's license branches tend to get pretty crowded, so it's a good idea to call in advance and make an appointment. Drive safely and buckle up. It's the law. Boats have to be registered, too. A valid out-of-state registration of any pleasure craft is recognized for up to 90 days. All boats, motor or sail, regardless of size, have to be registered every year. You can do this at the same office where you register your car. Incidentally, you can't just drop a line and go fishing. You'll need a license for both salt and freshwater recreational angling. Licensing extends to your four-footed friends as well. In Hillsborough and Pinellas County, your dog or cat must be vaccinated against rabies and licensed by the time they're four months old, then annually afterward. In Pasco County, this only applies to dogs. Be aware, too, that in Pinellas County, dogs and cats have to be kept on a leash or restrained behind a fence. If you want to register to vote, sign up at least 30 days prior to an election to be eligible to cast your ballot on voting day. The two daily newspapers, the St. Petersburg Times and the Tampa Tribune, will help keep you up to date. The Tampa Bay Business Journal illuminates the local marketplace. And the alternative weekly, Creative Loafing, offers a different slant on current events. The following phone numbers will help you navigate the legislative waters of your new home. uncertainty or one of promise. At News Channel 8 and NBC News, we're digging deeper to give you no-nonsense news and the answers you depend upon. That's why more and more people in Tampa Bay are turning to News Channel 8. And that's why you should too. NBC News and News Channel 8, now more than ever. Win a News Channel 8 Storm Team umbrella. Look for the coupon accompanying this tape for details. One of my favorite things to make for dinner? Reservations. <laughs> Be sure to look at our array of restaurants and entertainment spots. I, I know it's hard work, but some things you just have to force yourself to do. Dining and entertainment is brought to you by Citibank Preferred Visa.
having both a gulf and a bay for neighbors, you would expect the catch of the day to be the order of the day. And you're not entirely wrong. But if you think the culinary experience of Tampa Bay is limited just to seafood, well, you're overlooking a whole world of taste. The food here runs the gamut from down home to far east, from Creole to continental, from English to Ethiopian. The choices are nearly endless, but here are just a few of the local establishments of note. The restaurant that's perhaps synonymous with fine dining in the Bay Area is Burns Steakhouse, a Tampa landmark that boasts over 50 cuts of meat. And with over 7,000 selections, their wine list is the largest in the United States. And whatever you do, leave room for sweets in the dessert room. Another Tampa standby is the Ornate Columbia restaurant in Ybor City. This block-long emporium has not only been serving up delicious Spanish cuisine since 1905, it also features the best authentic flamenco dancing in town. Come across the bay now for a visit to a legendary pink palace, the Don Cesar Beach Resort. Inside, the King Charles Room presents cuisine truly fit for royalty. And the Sunday brunch is considered by many to be the area's finest. Here's another treasured Bay Area tradition, watching the sunset over the Gulf of Mexico while enjoying one of the Hurricane Restaurant's grouper sandwiches. That was just a little bite of what the Bay Area has to offer. There are so many great restaurants. I'm sure you'll soon find a few favorites. What future U.S. president led a charge on horseback through an Ybor City restaurant? All right, what, what do they want this chair? Over there, in the dining room. And how about the table? You want the table in the kitchen? No, it goes with the chair in the dining room. Okay. Hey, hey, where's Richie? I, I thought he's bringing in the television. I don't know, he's moving the truck back. He's what? He's moving it. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't tell me. Oh, boy. You should see what's on television. Look at that. Oh. Teddy Roosevelt made the memorable entrance along with his Rough Riders. The Bay Area served as a jumping off place for U.S. soldiers bound for Cuba in the Spanish-American War. <laughs> Compared with many other communities, it's a cinch to find your way around the Tampa Bay area. And if you follow a few precautions, getting there can be half the fun. The Bay Area is rather far-flung, made up primarily of Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Pasco counties. The principal city of Hillsborough County, Tampa, is separated from St. Petersburg and Clearwater in Pinellas County by the waters of Tampa Bay. Three bridges link Pinellas and Hillsborough County. Numerous east-west roads lead from the bay to the Gulf of Mexico. The major arteries leading north and south are Interstate 75 and 275, and Interstate 4 connects the area to Orlando and points east. From a distance, it looks like a pair of huge, graceful golden sails. Travelers take the Sunshine Skyway north to Pinellas County and south to Manatee County and Interstate 75. Public transportation does exist, but the car is the primary means of travel. Rush hour can sometimes be quite heavy, especially along Dale Mabry Highway and the intersection of Interstates 275 and 4 in Tampa and U.S. Highway 19 in Pinellas County. Many Bay Area residents have devised their own routes, some of them ingenious to avoid the most congested areas. If you ask them nicely, they might just share them with you. And if you're really nice, they might also reveal the location of that perfect little secluded beach. But if they don't, don't worry, we're going to show you how to think like a native when it comes to recreation. Now that the hardest part about relocating is over, it's time for some of the more enjoyable things moving offers, like discovering new places close by for picnics, sightseeing, or just relaxing in the sunshine. The sun, the sand, the palm trees. That's what brings a lot of people to Florida. But there's plenty more to do here. So much, in fact, it's hard to narrow down your recreational and shopping choices. The first thing you should know about the locals is that many of them are as drawn to attractions as tourists. 
Outside of the beach, perhaps the number one tourist destination in the Bay Area is Bush Gardens. A 300-acre theme park that's part zoo, part thrill ride, part live entertainment, and all fun. But in all the excitement, don't overlook the Lowry Park Zoo. It's one of the top, smaller size zoos in the country. And its Manatee and Aquatic Center offers visitors an unforgettable opportunity to get up close and personal with these endearing creatures. Given our location, it should come as no surprise that water dominates much of the recreational life in the area. We're crazy about water, whether we're over it, on it, or under it. Boating is an extremely popular pastime here, and for many people, our fishing is second to none, whether it's on the high seas or in any one of hundreds of tranquil lakes dotting the landscape. Tampa Bay is ideally situated for day trips. To the north are the cool waters of Crystal River, east is SeaWorld, Disney World, Universal Studios, and Cypress Gardens. To the south, find sophisticated shopping at St. Armand's Circle in Sarasota or go west for a leisurely dinner cruise. With dozens of parks to choose from, the great outdoors really are great here. You can cycle, skate, ski, sail, swim, ride, paddle, wander, or just watch the scenery to your heart's content. And if you get tired of doing something, doing nothing has been elevated to an art form on the sugar white sands of the Pinellas Sun Coast. These golf beaches have frequently been ranked among the very finest in the world. When the sun goes down, the pace picks up. The Bay Area comes alive with the sounds of rock, reggae, jazz, country, and everything in between. Headliners routinely fill the concert halls, and many clubs feature homegrown talent with a large local following. Just for laughs, we've also got a serious selection of comedy clubs on either side of the bay. What's the perfect follow-up to a hot night on the town? Some might suggest a cool day in the shops. The Bay Area has everything from major malls to antique shops, outlet hubs and flea markets. There's something to accommodate just about every taste and pocketbook. But some special places are more than just a shopping destination. They're an experience in and of themselves. Old Hyde Park Village attracts shoppers from throughout the Tampa Bay area who come to enjoy the charming and sophisticated atmosphere. A place to browse through the outstanding collection of shops, dine at one of the many outdoor cafes, or see your favorite movie. Just a two-minute people-mover ride away from downtown Tampa, the shops at Harbor Island offer fine goods in a stunning water's edge setting. Another must-see is Tampa's historic Ybor City. This fascinating part of town is a shopping bonanza and a history lesson combined. No, you're not seeing things. That really is an inverted pyramid. It's the pier, a St. Pete landmark. Just a vintage trolley ride away are specialty shops, restaurants, and the type of waterfront setting that makes the pier a favorite hangout for shoppers and pelicans alike. Here are some of the numbers to help guide you through all the recreation and shopping choices in your new home. What was the route of the world's first regularly scheduled commercial flight? I remember our first holiday here. I needed to give our home a festive look, Florida style. New clothes for everyone and gifts. Plus, all that wrapping and mailing. I needed a miracle, but as it turned out, all I really needed was bells. the enclosed certificate for extra savings on brand name fashions, gifts, and decorative items for your new home. 
free gift wrapping and in-store postal facilities make Bells your one-stop holiday shop. Depend on Bells this holiday season to save you time and money every day. Over 150 convenient locations all over Florida. Use the enclosed certificate for 10% off your first purchase at Scotty's with over 150 locations throughout Florida. The route of the first regularly scheduled commercial airline flight was from St. Petersburg to Tampa. When Tony Janis crossed the bay in 1914, the airline industry was born. Of course, we've only scratched the surface. This is a great area with an abundance of things to do and see. If you want tradition, it's here. If you want dynamic change, it's here. If you want big city excitement and the friendliness of a small town, well, you've made the right move. I think you're going to like it here. So welcome to my hometown. I think Tampa Bay is the best place to work, play, and live. And I bet you'll think so, too.